Boston police arrested three people today during an organized white supremacist march in Jamaica Plain. It's the latest in a string of incidents involving similar groups. WBZ's Brandon Truitt is live for us in Jamaica Plain with reaction from some local leaders on this. Brandon? Hey, Ken, we know the group started organizing on the sidewalk this morning. Police tell us that there were families here for a drag queen story time, and police believe that's why this group ultimately showed up here. I want to show you some of this witness video that shows the actions of the self-proclaimed neo-Nazis that were lining up. This group of white men wore hats and covered their faces with masks while standing behind that banner. Now, police say uh, that witnesses, or police actually ushered the children um, out from that book reading and away from this group. Witnesses tell me at one point counter protesters actually approached these men and things took off from there. Now these images show the group on the move and those counter protesters pushing back against the neo-Nazis. Boston police tell us three men were arrested here today but could not say if all of those arrested were a part of the white supremacist group. Boston Mayor Michelle Wu condemning what happened here saying quote we are prepared and will not be intimidated in our work to make Boston a city for everyone. We remain ready for a citywide deployment of extra public safety resources with a zero tolerance approach to any groups looking to intimidate or harass residents in our city. Those who live here say they agree. They should took that city hall or state house. This isn't the community for that or the neighborhood. You know. Especially just compared to other areas of Boston, I felt very safe here. And this would probably be the last place I expect that to happen, so I'm kind of just disgusted. Of course, today's incident, just the latest within the last month in Boston. Over the 4th of July weekend, the neo-Nazi group Patriots Front marched through Back Bay. Police say the group assaulted a man, too. Now, the Suffolk District Attorney called today's actions a disgrace. His office, along with the FBI, say they are investigating the actions of these neo-Nazi groups. We're live in Jamaica Plain. Brandon Truitt, WBZ News.